Well, welcome to the uh, finale of the uh, Tom Daniels uh, group build that's hosted by uh, Classic Plastic 101 and Dirt Pit. As you can see in front of me, I have the completed uh, uh, paddy wagon uh, all done up from the uh, previous uh, episode. Uh, uh, just let me kind of go over some of the things that I, I did to uh, uh, get to this finale here. Uh, go ahead and kind of turn her around a little bit. I have the uh, officer in the back. He's just uh, kind of hanging out right now. I don't have him glued in, so I'm just going to kind of turn this real careful. Uh, but as you can see, all the parts are now glued in place, as well as the uh, decals uh, for this kit. Um, just some of the things I uh, want to point out uh, for this kit is uh, uh, first of all uh, with the left and right uh, support of the uh, windshields uh, I actually used uh, some of the uh, <coughs> white canopy glue 560 uh, to adhere to the clear plastic and the underside of the uh, headlamps um, and just kind of let, let that sit overnight uh, for 24 hours and let it cure. Um, <clears throat> but uh, like I said, as, as you can see, everything else is, is basically uh, attached. Uh, uh, you know, we got the roof on and uh, we have the ramp scoops uh, in place. Uh, as far as the uh, uh, thermometer for the top part of the radiator, uh, I went ahead and scraped off the plating on the underside and uh, marked the center point and uh, applied uh, some regular testers uh, glue for that to hold that in place. Um, but like I said, once everything was uh, basically uh, glued together parts wise, uh, the uh, decals themselves uh, went on pretty good, uh, really no issues. Um, probably can't see it from the camera angle here but there are a couple like little tiny bubbles uh, that didn't get quite out uh, but uh, it's not too noticeable and I'll just have to kind of live with that um, but uh, like I said uh, you know um, uh, they slid off pretty easy off the uh, the paper backing it only took about less than 20 seconds to uh, dip it in water and and apply but uh, yeah so anyways here we are um, very happy with this kit um, as far as uh, putting it together and uh, came out quite well and uh, like I said too uh, when I, after I put on the uh, decals uh, I did a second uh, coating of the acrylic future uh, to seal everything in um, one of the other things that I did do, um, especially here, like on the uh, firewall uh, area, uh, and before I put the support rods in for the uh, windshield, I went ahead and put the decals for the police and the uh, scribe marks on the top of the firewall first before I glued the, uh, the support rods and the ram scoops and whatnot. It's just easier that way. Um, when I was installing the decals. Um, I did manage to, like on the side here, when you got the uh, horn area, um, I went ahead and used, uh, for my decal work, uh, I used the Microsol uh, and the Microset to apply the decals with. And, uh, and that kind of, uh, always had some good results with those. Um, especially going over the uh, acrylic paint so uh, but uh, yeah here we are and uh, as far as the uh, display is concerned um, I went ahead and uh, I took uh, and made a base for it first off and then I took some uh, foam board uh, basically what this is right here in the back uh, cut out a piece and fit it onto the uh, base uh, using some of this <coughs> it's actually super gold plus and it's a hundred percent foam safe 
so uh, that's what I used. Uh, put a couple little dabs on the wood there and then press the uh, foam board in place uh, and uh, let cure. And uh, then as far as, uh, I don't know if the camera can pick this, pick it up or not, but I actually uh, took the end of a um, paintbrush and uh, I actually made groove lines uh, into the foam board to represent like a block formation of some cobblestones for a cobblestone street and uh, uh, basically what I did once that was scribed into the foam board uh, I went ahead and uh, put on some uh, or airbrushed some slate gray and once the slate gray <coughs> was put on I went ahead and put these two on the um, <clears throat> foam board itself. So uh, I start after the gray. I put on the brown Craft Smart, and then the uh, red Craft Smart satin um, on top of that. Uh, and then once that was dried, I went ahead and uh, took some of the uh, Craft Smart satin black watered it down really good and kind of gave it a dirty wash onto the uh, cobblestone uh, to bring out the grooves and uh, once that was done and dried and I went ahead with and put some of the uh, future uh, floor acrylic um, on to seal all the acrylic paint in place and uh, this is what we have for our display so, uh, <clears throat> like I said, once again, I want to thank uh, uh, Chris Cortell, a.k.a. Classic Plastic 101, and Dirk Pitt for hosting the uh, uh, Tom Daniels uh, group build. Uh, thank you for letting me join in. And uh, as you can see, this is the result. Uh, so, without uh, further ado, uh, everybody have a good day, have a good weekend. And uh, we'll catch you on the next build.